Hey guys, how are you doing? This is Madhvi from tacticallyspeaking.com and today I'm going to be reviewing um, this really, really interesting and wow, <laughs> vivid, <laughs> I know, deck that I have uh, sort of stumbled onto because of a recommendation from a friend of mine and like she she found this deck somewhere and uh she was raving about it and so i looked it up on amazon i'm like okay okay fine let me buy it and i and i and i got it in my you know amazon uh you know thing and then i was like wow <laughs> right i was captivated this is the vivid journey tarot deck by jessica allaire this is the box it comes in and I'm going to be reviewing this deck in a little bit. So stay tuned. Hey guys, how are you doing? This is Madhvi from tarotticallyspeaking.com, your tarot blogger, deck and book reviewer and maker of these awesome videos on YouTube. I'm also a tarot card reader and mentor and an author of this awesome book on tarot, which is available on Amazon, both paperback and Kindle all over the world now all of these links and more are in the description so do check that out and at the end of this video hit the like button share it with your friends and if you haven't already subscribe to my channel for more such awesome tarot videos all right so this is the box that the deck comes packed in and if you so prefer you can totally store your deck in this box okay because this is pretty nice this is it's a sturdy box very strong and you know it totally goes with the whole vivid colorful ethos of this uh deck brilliant cards for a vibrant journey and that is basically the essence of what this deck is really all about it's all about you know the brilliance and the vividness and the brightness and the artist jessica Ella really really does justice to that theme in her deck right and in her artwork <laughs> right in this deck through her artwork and as you can see it's got a magnetic sort of a clasp and you open it and there's the look sun card right so cute and you open it up and here's your book and here's the little satin ribbon thingy so you pull that and the book comes out and the book is also pretty thick mm, how many pages how many 181 so a nice glossy images you know pages with full color images very nice okay we'll get into this and then of course you have your cards and you know with the little satin ribbon thingy it all comes out very easily okay so at this day here let's look into the book first <clears throat> so here is the book and it says guide to your vivid journey and you know here we are <laughs> let's open this up the book is I, yes it is full color right so that's the great part oh look uh i hope i'm saying this right this is Llewellyn. Llewellyn, Llewellyn, I if, if i'm saying it wrong just tell me <clears throat> So, this is a little bit about Jessica Lair. She is a Midwest native who likes to express herself with flowing lines and vivid colors. Always feeling a close relationship with nature and flowing energies around her, she strives to capture that in her art. As a self-taught artist, Jessica always viewed her art as an extension of herself, her soul brought to life, and the best way to express her feelings and spirituality. Now she wants to share her art with the world in the hopes that her work will brighten the lives of those it touches. Still a student of tarot, Jessica wanted to create a tarot deck based around color that used the elements she learned from her few years of study to further her own understanding and to help others learn the beautiful art of tarot card reading. Right? So colors play a very important role in this deck and we will get into it. This book really... Uh, talks about it and this is this is the interesting part this is also uh, something that my friend was very attracted to 
there's a you know a little write-up about this you know about tarot about colors and you know <laughs> it's beautiful you have to read it you have to read it it's it's like you know brilliant and then we have a little bit about the tarot basics and right here is where the author where, where jessica goes into the different colors and what those colors mean and this is not just very specific to the deck right this is what those colors really are all about like red is the color that pumps through our veins it's primal it is aggression passion power lust action danger desire right and oh yellow is light and bright it's the color of sun it's vitality healing positivity creativity illumination and clarity so we get into all the different colors and she has really used a very specific color palette in this deck and you'll, you'll see that you'll see that pattern emerging as we look through the flip through and these colors have been used with that very specific intent okay so this is good because you know if, if you are studying the role that colors play in tarot this deck can be one of those uh, you know places where you really grow with that knowledge or you can grow that knowledge a little bit more okay and oh you have your little spreads and go oh, one swords cups pentacles kings queen knights pages and about the numbers and then we get into the card meanings and so here we see a full color image of that card we oh <laughs> uh, we see a little sorry about these shiny shiny the pages are a little glossy and the light does shine so i'm trying not to get that going now you have a little write-up on the full card and you know again if the fool comes up reverse so there is a write-up about the reverse part of the card so you know that's good i like it hmm? you know next card again reverse so the reverse meanings are covered which is great uh but there are no lists of keywords which is also great you can read through this which is lovely and you have the full color card image so it really is very very inspiring you can really see the colors and the whole theory of colors showing up here right you have clarity you have the passion it's also ego right <clears throat> with the magician hmm. and so on for all the cards i'm just flipping through because i don't want you to uh you know see the cards before you see the cards you know what i mean and go yep that's basically it we go through all the cards and then there's a little right up at the end which is again very very nice the most important point i want you to take away from this book is that the tarot is wholly personal it shouldn't be scary or intimidating there are hundreds of different ways to interpret the cards but what matters most is finding what works for you or changing the rules and making it your own the cards simply tap into our own deep-seated human characteristics and use our own intuition to help shine a light on the aspects of our lives that we may not be consciously aware of the Vivid Journey deck uses traditional Rider Waite Smith imagery and color to help intensify that intuitive connection. I poured my own energies into each image to create flowing lines of color. And my hope is that with all these elements, you are better able to deepen your connection with tarot. I aim to make it a little easier to read the cards and illuminate your own personal journeys or journeys of those for whom you are reading. I hope you enjoy the vivid imagery and find guidance on whatever path your journey takes you. This is so lovely. This is her intent. This is what she wanted to do with this deck. And wow. This, again, as I always say, the book, if there is a book to go with your deck, that book needs to be really, really, really studied, really read. So, yes. You know when you get this deck make sure to read through the book and that whole 
uh, you know, the, the meaning. Where, where is it? <clears throat> the colors, right? It's right at the beginning. So you can't miss it. It's on page six and seven of the book, right? And you can literally, you can, you know, maybe make a copy of this and have it in front of you as you work with your cards or you can just bookmark that page. And as you, you know, work with the cards, you come back. And then the colors will start adding more meaning, more value to your cards, right? All right, enough about my excitement of this deck. Uh, you can see, actually, I'm using this deck for my uh, card day readings uh, this month. So if you want, you can follow me on my social media and you can see how I'm using, I'm interpreting these cards uh, during my card day reading. All right, so let's look into the it's now. All right, so let's go. Let's begin. Here's the card. There are no bookend cards, so that's that. These are the cards. And this is the full card. Very nice. The whole silhouette effect because, you know, there's the sun. So obviously you can see the silhouette. <laughs> and this is the back side of the deck. Again, the deck backs are reversible brilliant right <laughs> there we go my only only trust me my only complaint is that you know the card stock is a tad bit thin it, it it does shuffle well don't get me wrong and i haven't faced any issues with it yet but somehow I just you know maybe i'm used to ha handling more thicker card stock perhaps maybe that's my that's you know making me all biased but that's the only thing that kind of sort of you like oh i wish the cards were a little bit thicker just maybe a few you know a little bit i don't know but that's my thing again maybe other people are are comfortable with that but again i have had no issues shuffling this deck or you know making a fan with this deck or mixing the cards up so I, I don't see how the card thickness really affects me or you know the the, the very sort of <clears throat> glossy matty whatever the finish is it's again great right off the box uh, you know right out of the box I was able to shuffle the cards without you know doing any any special stuff so maybe it's just me <laughs> just say so anyway so here's the full card magician card see as you go through these cards, you will start noticing that she has, uh, you know, the, the style of drawing is very unique to Jessica. And she has used, a, you know, she has tried to go with a very specific color palette. And that has created a very powerful effect, uh, if you ask me. <clears throat> yeah, you know, because now we are seeing the cards only through that lens and it's... Yes, it is brilliant and vivid and interesting. So here's a theory that just came to my head that you don't need to have hundreds and thousands of colors going on to make it vivid. That's probably something that's, you know, she's shown here. <laughs> you can use a limited color palette and still have the whole vivid effect, which is great. Oh yeah, the Empress from the <laughs> deck uh, of the bo of the box. <clears throat> and The cutest strength card ever. <laughs> Just ever.
<laughs> this guy in the death guard. I mean, don't get me wrong, but you you can't be upset with this guy, can you? <laughs> Tao. moon card and yes you know even though a lot of the imagery you can look at it and say oh how cute how cute but you know that does not diminish the essence of tarotness <laughs> from the card so yeah yeah One. I want you to pay attention here, okay? As we go through the suits, there's something you I want you to notice very specifically. noticing it here. It's my <laughs>
as I was, as I, as I said earlier, when before I started flipping through the cards, I hope you guys noticed it, but there is a very limited set of colors for, that Jessica uses for each suit, which is brilliant because she really gets into it, right? Like for instance, now in the one suit, you will see reds, yellows, a little no green, but there's a lot of reds and yellows and the sky is a, is a different sort of a very faded <laughs> bluish color. So let's, let's get into this just for the fun, right? Let's look at the color symbolism that she talks about. Like red is the color of passion, power, lust, action, danger, and desire. And then we have yellow, which is all about healing, positivity, creativity, illumination, and clarity. So that is totally the energy of wands. <clears throat> then what does she do with the suit of swords? There's a lot of these purples and yellows there. Can you see? Right? So let's see. Let's see. Where's purple? Oh, there's violet. Okay, that's the that's the that's the name she's chosen. Violet or purple. I know there's a difference, but I I sometimes say wrong words. <laughs> okay, so violet is the perfect marriage of passionate red and tranquil blue. Violet is problem solving, intuitive. Resurrection and the psychic realm. Royal Violet is also associated with royalty and grandeur, and we know that red is heal. I'm um, sorry, yellow is healing, positivity, creativity, illumination, and clarity. So the suit of swords, which is a lot of that violet and yellow, is that energy she has focused on, right? <clears throat> Intuition, problem solving, that sort of thing. Now the suit of cups we see. A lot of blues and greens, right? See that? A lot of the blues and greens going on. So where is blue, 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 blue? Blue is as vast as the sky and as deep as the ocean. It is calming, tranquil, open and free. It is also emotional, inspirational and sensitive. Green is the soothing blend of bright yellow and calming blue. Green is the predominant color of nature. It's youth, growth, money, prosperity, and health. So those are the two colors she's used here. <clears throat> Emotions, inspirations, calmness, and growth, money, prosperity, health. And those are the colors here in the suit of cups. And of course, with pentacles, she has green, she has violet, and she has all those yellows with the coins. Yeah, but predominantly green and violet seem to be the colors uh, sort of dominating here. And as we know, green is youth, growth, money, prosperity, and health, which is all pentacle energy. And violet is, of course, problem solving, intuitive, resurrection, royalty, grandeur, psychic realm. So she has really taken... Uh, that energy and combined it here and she's made it brilliant like that so see this and and as you study through these cards right and 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 you know even the majors let's let's pick a random oh, let me do this way a random major arcana card let's look at what the colors are all about let's see which is this one we have hanged man which is very interesting <clears throat> hanged man we see a lot of greens reds there's a bunch of brown. Okay. So let's see. What does it say? What does the colors say? Just by the colors. We have green, which is growth, prosperity. But that's, you know, around him. And we see he's wearing red. Red, red, red is action, danger, desire, passion, and all of that. Right? And there's that brown of the tree. Brown is the color of soil. It's earthy, grounding, stable, solid, and serious. So he's hanging upside down. There is passion. There is energy there and the hope of prosperity there, right? And growth and all of that. And he's, you know, this is very solid, stable and dependable and serious. So whatever this is going on in the hanged man does have that, that energy in, in it. Isn't that interesting? Okay, just for fun, let's, let's try another card. <clears throat> Which one is this? This be hierophant. How interesting. 
what do we see here? There's a lot of yellows and reds, right? And we know what that is. Yellow is vitality. Very interesting. Let me go back. <laughs> the page keeps running away from me. Okay. So yellow is vitality, healing, positivity, creativity, illumination, and clarity. And red is power, passion, lust, all of that, aggression. So you see all those shades here. Look, this Hierophant is actually you know, a very lovable sort of fellow there. So but he has passion. He has the desire. He has the energy that is needed to take that clarity, that vitality, and take it to the next level, right? There's also all that white here. And it says over here, white is the absence of color. It is purity, beginning, cleansing, innocence, and faith. White illuminates the darkness. So... That's the energy here, right? And that is so much in keeping with the Hierophant energy. So, you know, that is, you know, this is something a very, very interesting thing you can do with these cards is when you're studying them, when you're playing with them, you can look into the whole color part of it, of, this whole, of the whole story and see how that plays into the meanings uh, of this particular deck and see how that really adds value and well okay <laughs> to coin the corny pun adds color to the card imagery okay so do spend time and check it out this is a brilliant brilliant deck do get it i will be putting links in my uh, in the video description so and they are you know just you know full disclosure they are affiliate links but please, uh, if you do use them, you will be supporting me. The little commission that Amazon gives out helps me, uh, you know, funds the purchase of decks like these. So for your viewing pleasure. And, you know, so just do it. Buy the deck and have fun. <laughs> Thank you so much for sticking around uh, till the very end and watching this video. I really appreciate it. And if you have loved this video, which I'm sure you have, please don't forget to hit like to hit the like button. And if you haven't signed up, please subscribe, sign up. And you know, there's some really interesting things in the works, just like the nine. This is the nine of pentacles, isn't it? Isn't it? <clears throat> Let us. There you go. Oh boy. Hmm. So there's a bunch of stuff in the works. Stay, if you stay tuned, you'll be the first to know. <laughs> really, really. I'm, I'm not kidding you. Just, just subscribe. Okay. And I will see you again in my next video. Until then, stay good, be good, and play with your cards. Bye now. <laughs>